Welcome back to this rather chaotic play session of Subnautica, where my mouth seems to be working substantially faster than my brain. Um, <laughs> so we should have everything we need now. Uh, where did I put the okay. I was going to say, I've got a ton of this crystalline sulfur stuff. Um, so we should be able to do the next portion now. Uh, let's take the seam off. It's like going to your fancy garage and saying, let's, let's take the, uh, the Lamborghini today, darling. Instead of the little scooter, <laughs> the little Timmy rides that I've been going around everywhere. Uh, there we go. Let's get a look at our rocket in the, in the night. Turn the lights off when I get on. It's a bit weird. Okay. Fuel reserve going in. Rocket is getting even bigger. We still haven't made the cockpit yet, so... <laughs> We've got a ways to go before we can launch. Okay, that was the music over. Now we just get odd clicking noises. But there it is. All of that is just to get me up into the atmosphere. <laughs> and then the cockpit, here we go, is going to be a little tiny thing. Okay, we need a, ooh, we need a Cyclops shield generator. Makes sense. Another bloody plasteel. Enameled glass, that should be easy peasy. We've got a bunch of stalker's teeth. Uh, and a computer chip. <laughs> Which, uh, I can't remember if that needs silver, if that's just copper and table coral. I guess we'll find out. Um... Plasteel is going to be a bit of a kick in the pants. So much bloody titanium. But I guess that's what makes the other shell. Um, there you go. Vital signs stabilizing. I see we have uh, Neptune written on the side. Can we rename this rocket at some point? Right. Uh, let's head back to base and see where we're at with building materials. Let's see if we've got the quartz we need. Shouldn't be hard to find some quartz though. I hope I've got enough crystalline sulfur. <sighs> oh, that's the wrong thing I've uh, mapped. Okay. Let me change that blueprint around. I was going to say, uh, what do I need crystalline sulfur for the... Oh, the cockpit. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Also, we need just a single computer chip. I don't know if this uh, includes all the... Wow, okay. There's a ton over there. Good grief. I have to... If that's... Lord, I've missed a ton over here. So they're in the uh, cave that's there. Okay, well, shit. Uh, we've got plenty of silver possibilities to be found. Right, blueprint. Oh, I keep using the wrong uh, Blueprint, blueprint. Neptune fuel reserve is done. Neptune cockpit. To do that, we need a. Cyclops shield generator. Which needs an advanced wiring kit. Uh, <laughs> uh, and to make more batteries. So I am going to need some more cocking silver. Um, one thing at a time. Do I have enough to make enameled glass? Well, I have still teeth. I'm pretty sure that's what you need for enameled glass. Uh, I've got enough for polyaniline. Worried about that. I thought I had some quartz kicking around. At least one. Maybe I used it all for something windowy. But that's not hard to find. So let's uh, venture back out <laughs> for quartz in this biome, titanium in the other biome, uh, and silver wherever. Will you please stop? I've been avoiding attacking you guys because one of you's got to be my friend. Fortunately, you buggers look the same. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's eight titanium right off the bat. And you look like you have a scannable thing in there. So that'll be titanium <laughs> instantly sorted. It's, uh, it helps to be an inattentive little bitch when you're going around missing off all these components. Because now I can just scoot them up later. 
incompetent. It wasn't just incompetence, it was strategic incompetence. <laughs> uh, right, can I go to the draw distance layer where the things disappear, but what shows up? Yeah, there you go. And that's not cheating, that's just using game mechanics. <laughs> if the game didn't want me to cheat, it should have a better draw distance. I don't know, draw distance is actually pretty good. But... <laughs> Seeing any in that lot? It's not foolproof, of course. That's the uh, Leviathan disproving of my methods for finding quartz. Here we go. I think two is enough for a single piece of glass. Let's just go back and double check. That'll be the enameled glass, then we'll get the computer chip, and we'll do the plasteel, and we'll do the Cyclops shield generator module last. Actually, yeah, I think it's mainly silver I need for that, because I think we've got enough. Uh, deep shrooms for polyaniline. I think I've got some cooking down there as well, although they might be uh, acid shrooms actually. Yeah, but I think we've got some deep shrooms in the uh, in the thing. Is this seed that I keep floating past every time? It's spotted dock leaf, I guess. That's useful. Um, right, let's make the titanium first to free up some inventory space. I see glass is highlighted, which is good. Go. Nameled glass. Let's go get the lithium back out of Mr. Shrimp. Calorie intake recommended. God damn it. I'll eat when I'm ready to eat. Must be another Reginald around here somewhere. Well, I'm in the water now, so... <laughs> I guess I'm ready to eat. Let's have a look if there is a Reginald. If not, I... Ah! There you are! <laughs> Sir, do you care to be eaten by me? Get back here. Thank you. Yum, yum. Okay. Reginald eaten. Back to work. This because I'm an impatient bitch. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. I thought I grabbed two lithium. I only grabbed one? Eh, maybe I was distracted by thoughts of eating. <laughs> Happens a lot. Maybe I. I don't know. Oh god. <laughs> it's a bloody moon pool. The trouble that's worth. Wait, no, I. That was fucking lead that I keep pulling out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> my defense, they look sort of similar. Maybe, if you squint your eyes and. Hit yourself in the brain a few times. <laughs> and then you'll be on my level. Uh, okay, finally got the plastic. <laughs> Alright, so we need the chip. Uh, okay, it needs gold. We just need that table coral. So we'll go back to our usual table coral supplier. Table coral can, of course, be found in any reputable table coral supply shops. Oh, it's the beacon. I thought something had latched onto it then. I'm the only parasite on this ecosystem. Right. A couple of table coral. Got the gold. That's the microchip done. So there, I'll double check my polyaniline situation. Um, I'll then follow the scanner room to find some silver. There is the coral of table, please. There's one. 
Aha. I see you over there. I see a coral reef ready to be destroyed. We are quite good at that, after all. One way or the other. I mean, if we have to get voyage rooms not the end of the world, I'm pretty sure we can get them um, in the Sea Treader's path. It's fairly uh, safe to get to and from. There we go. Thank you very much. Right, where are me where are me shrooms? Just can't remember what else is needed. It's the acid shroom. I'm pretty sure I saw a bunch here. Yeah. Just uh what's you polyaniline. Hydrochloric acid and gold. Okay, I need one more and then some salt. Which I think I have somewhere. Here we go, look. Salt. All you need to do is salt some shrooms and you get hydrochloric acid. Mm. Comes with its own safety label. Kindly added by the machine. Well, if you've got to this point and you still think you should put hydrochloric acid on your hands, then God knows how you survive this long. Get, uh, oh, I've used up all the gold, have I? That's mine, some. Captain. Memory serves as a big old deposit. Literally just over here. Okay. I was gonna say, are you fucking serious? <laughs> have a giant fuck off drill. Whee! Okay, I saw a deposit. There we go. Must have been running past this one constantly, wondering when I was gonna be able to do this. Highly valuable social property. Yep. Personally, I prefer the look of silver. But hey ho. Might as well get it all fill up our storage. Yeah, that idea didn't last long. Took longer than th a split second, and I was like, nah. Uh, you are pretty charged up, actually. I might just leave you. Oh, oh god, I overshot that a bit. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll leave you by the entrance, and then zoom straight past it. Let's just uh, take out some gold. I just need the one. Pony and lean. Now I need to. I might as well just. Now that I don't need to explore so much, I might as well just take one of these power cells, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm not planning on uh, using the old Cyclops anymore. And it's charging itself up anyway. So, <laughs> might as well just be lazy. Uh, and then it's just a ton of shite, isn't it? Um, an advanced wiring kit, which needs, funny enough, a wiring kit, uh, which needs two silver. So look at this old scanner. So camera two is over there. Camera one's there. So yeah, it's it's in that um, kelp forest. If you look at camera two and then sort of turn to like two o'clock, there it is. Camera two and two o'clock. It's in this, in this forest somewhere. Must be a cave somewhere that I've just been scooting straight past. We need two silver, which is, actually is, uh, isn't that bad, is it? <laughs> Anything to avoid going to the dunes, eh? Well, it might be, yeah. Must be careful for mesmers though. Mostly because they just make me jump. <laughs> Hate it when stuff like snaps around your vision like that. Wow. There's tons of chances for me to get lead. 
see. There's quartz here as well. I don't even know space. Oh, yeah, I got enough for the quartz. Just in case. Okay. Gold. Glorious gold. Exactly what I don't need. Or lead. <laughs> uh, if I can't see any here, I'll, uh, I'll go back the other sudden way. But first, a Reginald for dinner, I think. <laughs> Sorry, mate, you're just too darn tasty. Right, back into my hole. I saw some sandstone stuff the other way. Cool. Keep me going for a little bit. One down here. Silver ore. Chuffing. Let me just crack you while I'm here. Hey, nice. There as well. Damn it. I was hoping for like the trifecta. Oh, we're good for lead. <laughs> if we uh, fancy attaching depleted uranium to our rocket for some reason, we've got some lead to shield it. I want to take my uranite with me without growing 17 new heads. Okay, down there. You have fun. I think I got enough gold as well. Quite a successful trip, all things considered. Wiring kit. Advanced wiring kit. Now then, can. Oh god. Just realise where you fabricate this thing. It's on the Cyclops. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. Pretty sure I can't make that on a fabricator, can I? It's either that are going to be on the Cyclops' upgrade module fabricator thing, or... It's going to be um, on the vehicle modification station or whatever it's called, which is on the Cyclops. So, one way or another, your boy is going back down to the love zone. <laughs> oh, Christ on the bloody... Oh, leaving that Cyclops there was just a dumb decision, wasn't it? Oh, let's get some water for the road. I wish it was whiskey, but water will have to do. Hey, right, buddy. Just going back to where we started. Hopefully it can be a quick trip. Uh, actually, before we go too far. Might as well. Oh man. I spent half my life going to and from this sodding mountain. Just turn my lights off this time. No point burning through and uh don't want to risk alerting any uh, reapers in the vicinity. <laughs> I don't want it to end like this with Sir Mothington torn apart. Go. Just took a hot minute to load in then. There's the beach. So we're going back to our favourite volume. 
where there's an angry, angry dragon. <laughs> uh, and we have to get to a cyclops before dying of suffocation. So that's fun. And we have to go through this rigmarole again. <laughs> so I'm going to end it here and I'll try and pick it up when I'm actually in the lava zone. So you don't have to watch me going through this bloody building once again. So thank you very much for watching. If you like my content, please do check out my other videos. And if you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye.